It's been a while since we've had a bit of good old fashioned fabrication on the channel. So this week we're following Daryl as he restores the 37mm gun ammunition storage container on the Oz Armour Grant Tank. Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Daryl, these don't look that salvageable. Oh no, no, we'll be able to use parts of these. They're farm fresh as you can see, and they've been, you know, over the years where we've got them from, they've been thrown around a bit, so they're a bit bent and twisted, but we should be able to do something with them. This is what a good one would reasonably look like. You see this one's all corroded, eaten away, so we can't use that. Luckily we've got this one. But out of these two, this is the one we're going to restore, and the reason why is the doors are almost complete. What we're going to do is is heat up these hinge pins, get that moving, then I'll take the door set off. It's going to be easy to try and make it operate while it's got a bit of weight still on the unit. And then we're going to straighten up these bends. You can see this should be square, that should be square. And then we'll replace this piece in where this bit is. So once we get it, get the doors off, I'll remove that panel there, we'll straighten these up. It's where it's all been rusted off, we'll trim that down. Meant to come all the way over to here. Ours is rusted off. We're meant to be about an inch and a half further oh, this I way. I see. Yeah, yeah. Shall we get started then? Yeah, we'll get started. The first thing Daryl gets to work on is freeing up the hinges on the doors. For this, he'll use oxy to expand the metal, which will cause the rust to let go. Then he'll open and close the door repeatedly to loosen and dislodge the dust. We won't lubricate anything until the unit has been sandblasted and painted. Like the hinge is starting to move there. We don't want to be bending the knuckle, it's only like uh, you know, just over two mil. That's how we go. We might have to do this two or three times. Ah, there we go, look at that. That's what we're looking for. Let's work it backwards and forwards a couple of times, get some of that loose rust down. Oh no! So what I'll do is probably now I'll just grind those, uh, grind the heads of these nuts off. Then we should be able to take that door complete with that, still be a bit of that hinge attached. And then we'll just work on, you know, fixing that up. Daryl had to take this door hinge off anyway, but it's still a little bit disheartening when things like this happen. As you can see it's 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 similar to a piano hinge except it's only got certain fixing points. So what we'll do, we'll do is we'll put that, that back there and we'll very carefully just tack weld that. Now Daryl moves on to straightening any bent parts of the container while it's still on the bench.
Are we looking there for squares? Looks pretty good, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, let's put a bit more heat into it. Reckon that'll do? Yeah, that'll do. There's a bit of a twist in it, but when we bowl it down, that should take care of that. Right, so we'll let that, let that cool down a bit, then we'll start on the other side. So what I might do is take this one off the bench, set this up, and we can start straightening that. It's funny, it was, some of it was held, it was welded and had some bolts in it, so. A bit of everything. A bit of everything, yeah, along this side here. This part's gonna fit in here. So that, that gives us our width. So all we're gonna do now is remove this old section. It's not worth trying to say that, that's, that's just uh, scrap now. I'll cut these bolt heads off, and then I'll start with the cold chisel, just going down trying to break it apart. I'll be able to flick it. But I'll have to get rid of those bolts, I'll be holding it.
welds along yeah there's a couple of welds here I'll cut off first You're just going to go along and clean all that off. A couple of rivets. Now that Daryl has cleaned up this side, he moves onto the other panels that have partially rusted away. He starts by cutting away the unusable thin and rusted areas and prepares the edges to have new steel welded in. our angle. Close enough for us. Yep, that's good enough. It's important that both edges of the two steel plates are clean and have a slight bevel on them to enable the weld to have as much surface area as possible. Geez, that's a clear helmet I've got. So that's going to fit in there. So that goes in like that. Roughly there. So now we're just going to make this piece here. So you can see why this is coming down, then, then you need a flat spot here to, to meet on the same plane. Daryl is making a template of this angled piece so he can cut the new steel to the same dimensions. Just cut, just cut that whole piece off. Use uh, that. Well, well it's, it should be out about here. See, see the distance here? Yeah. Come yeah. up. You see, you're missing that much. That's basically why we're replacing the other bit because this wasn't usable.
So lining that up with that and there is where we want it. So now I've just got a mark under here. That's the bit we want. That gives us our angles are better than we need. Different angles. So this is the angle you want to bend your yeah. new piece at? Yeah, that's the angle we're, look we're looking to bend put that little crimp there so and then and that's on these marks here that's on those lines there one one more I'll we'll try it with a pebble yeah or another half again Yes. So that's not looking too bad there. Now I've got this sitting square. I can see we probably should have bent that a fraction more. You can see this has got a distinct Still a bit of a bend in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I've got to try and push that over if I can. Good as new. Like a bought one. Like a bought one. It's close enough for what we want. With the storage container repaired, all that remains is the hinge that broke earlier. Right, back on the door, I'm just getting rid of some of these bolts that didn't fall out. And we'll have a look at what the problem is. Welding thin sheet metal is tricky. 
if the welder is set too hot or the wire is too thick, then it can actually burn holes in the material. It's important to have everything set correctly and to start with small tacks so as not to overheat the metal too much. Daryl is a carpenter by trade, but has a lot of other skills. Lately, he's been taking on a lot of welding wisdom from Jesse. Moment of truth, mate. Let's see if we can't burn a hole through this thing stuff. I hope not. No, well, there's movement there. That's there's a good movement sign. at the station. <laughs> We're happy about that. Dale, I don't know why you doubted yourself, mate. Well, it's moving. That's a good sign. Bolt on there when we bring her back from the old uh, sandblasters and see how she goes. Do we drop that off? Yep, we'll get to run that into the sandblast now. I don't think there's much more panel beat we, we need to do, but anything we'll do is when it's fitted back on there, to make sure it all works properly. After a few days and a few coats of white paint, it's ready to be fitted. for today. Join us next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>